And now he softly sings. Gradually faint lines and forms appear in the darkness, and the shrill music of the Sunzak, the spirit helpers, arise around him. He calls to them, and they come. First, Bungi, the anaconda, coils about his head, transmuted into a crown shining like the sun. Then Wampong, the giant butterfly, hovers near to his shoulder and sings to him with its great blue wings. Snakes and spiders and birds dance above him in the air, and upon his arms appear the thousand eyes of his helpers searching for enemies in the night. The sound of rushing water fills his ears, and listening to its roar, he knows that he possesses the power of Sunki, the first oracle. Now he can see. Now he can find the truth. Are we not the Shwara? Are we not the Shwara? And did we not journey to the waterfall to seek the power of the Rutan, our spiritual guardians? We were the bravest of all people to fight against the fiercest animals of the jungle. And when necessary, we faced the most terrible of monsters. We felled the great trees of the forest. We were the bravest of all. We faced our enemies without fear. We found or we made all that we needed in this life. We were sincere and respected the possessions of others, for we said that it is only the monkey who knows how to steal. Above all, we never kept slaves and never was any man our master. It is said that long ago the chief of the great Inca Empire, Tupac Yupanqui, marched his armies down from the western mountains into the jungle to conquer our people. Many of the Shwara died in battle, but our people went together as one, and the invaders could not defeat us. We united to drive them back up into their mountain empire, and the Inca never returned to bother our people. But soon thereafter, other stranger men came following the rivers down from the western mountains. With their swords and their guns and their clothing made of metal, and with hair all over, even on their chins, it was hard not to laugh at them. Kuru, Shushua, Anuichia, we said. It looks like they have tried to bite into the quills of the porcupine. These people called us the Hevera, and we called them the Apache. They tried to force us to search in the farthest reaches of the jungle for a worthless yellow metal. The 
that they lust for gold and their cruelty enraged our people. Thus it was that we Shwara forgot our personal vendettas and united once again. And within the passing of two days and nights, the fabled golden cities of Umboya, Magronio de los Caballeros, and Sevilla de Oro were no more. We returned to our old way of living. We forgot those men in their cities. The seasons came and the generations passed. Not so long ago, yet stranger men arrived who wore clothing the color of the night. Wah, wah, Ayusha, Iwiyanchi and Iwitya, we whispered. Perhaps they're the unrevenged spirits of our dead ancestors. They were so big and yet at the same time so tranquil. Perhaps they were the guardian spirits, we said. We helped them cut trails so that the settlers could come down from the mountains and bring us gifts to make us happy. We stopped our feuding when the settlers, the Apache, in words as sweet as their sugar cane, spoke to us of the law and taught us about civilization. Things we had never before encountered came down the trails too. There was alcohol and sickness, influenza, smallpox, tuberculosis. The trails brought so many things, but they did not bring the happiness promised to us. We sent our children to their schools, and there they were taught to say that we were savages, that we were criminals and vagrants, that our bodies were ugly, that our language was the language of dogs. We no longer journeyed to the waterfall. The Arutum, the spiritual guardians, no longer revealed themselves. As if it were a basket or a hunting dog, the earth itself began to have owners, and these owners were not the Shwara. Today we are called citizens, and our boundaries are not simply the rivers and the mountain ranges. Today we are hemmed in by parishes and provinces, states and nations. Now a much larger trail is being cut down through the mountains and people say that a flood of settlers will soon come. In the face of this menacing wave, some of the Shwara have abandoned our traditional lands to escape further into the jungle. But most of our people have held fast and we have united ourselves into a permanent federation of 100 villages to face this greatest threat of all. For centuries, the last great barrier between our people and the settlers of the mountains was the deep ravine where the clear waters of the jungle river Negro become clouded by the muddy and turbulent river Paute that flows down from the western mountains. No longer, however, can we depend on this natural barrier. Five years ago, they began to build a bridge, a bridge that would span the ravine and connect their world with ours. Today, that bridge stands completed. Today, they shall inaugurate it and open the floodgates to mass colonization in this place that the settlers choose to call La Bea Union, the beautiful union. Se va a dar paso inmediatamente al alto inaugural del puente sobre el río Namangosa. 
al lado izquierdo, los señores policías, por favor, que actúen, y los señores conductores de estos vehículos deben acatar inmediatamente esta disposición. Se quería romper la cordillera oriental y llegar a los remantos suaves de los ríos del oriente. Se quería, por tanto, hacer en tiempos contemporáneos la repetición de una de las tantas odiseas, dijera yo, que antaño los conquistadores primero y luego los hombres en la república pretendieron intentar. Con su brazo musculado armado de un pico o de una pala, lo que ha roto la tremenda roca de la cordillera. Ha vencido el pantano feroz, ha cortado la selva gigantesca y se ha avanzado por rutas de progreso hacia conquistar la Amazonía. Mientras que los de acá, los de Morona Santiago, entonces ya intuitivamente pensaban que llegaría la civilización a ellos, se ha cumplido. Es además el logro de una buena meta que es un valle, un valle como el de Lupano, abierto hacia las mejores posibilidades de la colonización agropecuaria. Señor presidente, nosotros que hemos de abrir caminos para el oriente y no queremos que se quede aquí. Nuestro deseo es avanzar hasta la frontera misma de la paz. Nosotros pedimos, señor presidente, que se abran nuevas carreteras hacia el norte de Baca, que se abra hacia Chihuahua y Teixa, que se abra hacia el Morona y el Santiago, que tomemos posesión efectiva de esta tierra, señor presidente. Nosotros tenemos derecho a defender lo que nuestros padres, lo que los libertadores, lo que aquellos que lucharon en los campos de Tarqui para darnos posesión de estas tierras ha sido objeto de que nos arrebaten los vestidos del mundo. Aquí en este bello lugar, en este lugar que los moradores de esta zona me han puesto el nombre de Bella Unión. Esta es la bella unión de los pueblos, los pueblos de la tierra o los pueblos del oriente. Que esta unión permanezca para la gloria de la paz. Thank <laughs> you. 
At the bridge inauguration, they were wrong to say that new roads would be opened to the north in order to take effective possession of these lands. They come here to conquer the jungle, to occupy vacant land. They do not see that we, the Shuwara, have lived here for centuries and for generations. But then who are we? Are we not Ecuadorians? And then who are we? Are we not people? We seem to mean nothing to them. They think that we're just another animal in the forest. They believe that we're a herd of wild pigs, of wild animals that live in the jungle, who do nothing, who are no one, who are not people. With false words, they took the land from us. And we, Shuara, in our innocence, gave our land away in exchange for a gun or machete, in exchange for a shirt, for a jug of rum, or finally in exchange for a simple little lie. They say the road must pass by here, so then the Shuara have no rights. The Shuara must be cut off. So then you have to move us to where there are no roads, and in our place, you are to put the settlers. Why? Because only the settlers are people. Because only they are capable of working and producing and cultivating the land. This is a grand lie, and it is spoken in profound ignorance. <laughs> Son capaces de producir y cultivar la tierra. Esto es una tamaña falsedad. Esto es una gran ignorancia. Cada vez más se va ahondando el problema. Cada vez más los suaras tenemos menos. Pero sin embargo... Every day the problem grows. Every day the shuara have less. But despite all this, they say that we, the shuara, want to keep all the land to ourselves. 
montanas, porque antes toda esa planicie de, de terreno nos pertenecía, pero luego nos desalojaron, como digo, a base de engaño. Pero ahora queremos que se nos den títulos de propiedad de esas montañas que ustedes ven. Ustedes allí hay contento, porque ahí viven y vivimos nosotros los suaves. Ahí viven nuestros hermanos. Queremos que se nos den títulos de propiedad de esas montañas. De esas Not long ago, all these fertile valleys were ours, but we had to leave or were forced out. Now the Shuara live up on the mountainside. We can go no further, and so we ask that we be granted title to these ridges, to these cliffs, to these ravines. Tenemos 22.000 hectáreas de pastizales y contamos apenas con 7.500 cabezas de ganado. Ahora, ¿quién nos va a dar el crédito con el fin de cubrir con las cabezas de ganado? Los pastizales que ya están perdiendo. De lo poco que pedimos, no nos dan. But they reply, you Shuar must work harder. You must clear more land before we can give you land titles. But it makes no sense to clear more land. We have cleared over 56,000 acres for pasture, most of which is rapidly turning into a thorny wasteland for lack of cattle. To buy cattle, we need bank loans, but the banks say they cannot give us loans unless we show them land titles. So you see, of the little we ask, they refuse to give. But if we ask for our rights, they say that we ask much, that we are protesting, that we, the Shuara, are rebellious, that we, the Shuara, do nothing. No sea sinónimo de desmembración de las posesiones de los suárez, de nosotros. Eso es lo que quiere. Que se nos respete nuestro derecho. Que se nos reconozca. We recognize that the nation has many problems and that we have been called upon to help out. We do not oppose all colonization. But what we do oppose is any kind of land reform that means the crushing of our people and the dismembering of the possessions of the Shuara. What we want is respect for our rights, that you accept us as we are. This we must demand. This we must feel, each one of us. Si me voy a su cunungan mayam, suara nungay radio federación, su cua HCSK, uca juni cuatro mil novecientos sesenta kilociclos, banda internacional de sesenta metros, una chacama de atumin y rey que voy a andur que voy a armar, a en su irundaron, nambustia tundrisa, nun, fui como federación gaari irunda de ashima suarte me yahaya, cuatro machima shamik mafio a rum, rum cuquero de indio camin.
人をまたしたい。むしろと聞いて、むしろと聞いて。だ、むしろと聞いて。うろかんでむしろだし、復帰しみない。漫画と終わりきいしゃ、いたださい。ねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすねかすね Camarada, aquí es tierra de los salvajes, me parece. Sí, es lo que viven los jíbaros. Hoy la noche aquí. Ve la suele, ve la suele. ¿Por qué es este señor? ¿Qué 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 es este Matar así, ellos, hermanos, no pueden matar a Dios que está arriba, no quiere. Aquí, es la palabra de Dios, no pueden matar a los hermanos. Marinho, no, Marinho, Marinho, Marinho. No lanzas nada, la lanzas, hermano. Gracias. Gracias.
Cuando recién nos casamos, when we were recently married, we had our first child. After having lived so long in the mission school and the outside society, we thought that if we gave him a Spanish name, then he would be superior to the other Indian children and that our family would be equal to the white families. So we named our first child, a boy, Osvaldo. Then time passed, and when our second child came, we realized that we must maintain our own culture and our own names. Consequently, we named our second child, also a boy, Sukanga. Thus it is that as father of these two boys, I must discover a way, or better said, I must do all in my power to help my sons realize from the beginning the true dignity of being a Shvada. And I ask myself, what will become of the Shraddha? The greater part of our values have been lost and it is difficult to regain them, really. So often I feel it is useless to go on here. Every day we speak to our children in Spanish. We never teach them to speak correctly in Shraddha. We never educate them in the true ways of our people. And later on, we, the elders, will be eliminated in this world, and those who will have to face the problem and bear the consequences will be our children. Viña no más rona, cangajiña, shongueña, shongueña, shongueña. Viña no más rona, cangajiña, cacoqueña, cacoqueña, cacoqueña. Mr. Chuchi asana, yanang ma, yarang ma, uchichiri asana, shongueña, shongueña. Viña yurum rusukitu, nariña, andor kataji me acuaja. Viña y rumbo se quitó una nariña, andor cata y me acuaja. Viña no más lo cangajiña, shongueña, shongueña, shongueña. If we forget these things, if we go and copy everything from the foreign culture, then never, for all the centuries that the Federation of the Shvada people might struggle, never will we win. There is time. But there is only a little time. It all depends on today. Fishing today is nothing like what we had known years ago. The fishing today is very sparse. The Shwara as a group did not have the socio-economic problems during those years past. Perhaps the settlers will say that back then the Shwara were savages and had nothing. That is untrue. When the Shwara had enough to live on, he was happy. He had all that he needed. This economic problem that we confront today is not only the Indians' problem, but I would say that it is especially the problem of the settlers. There are millions of the white people here in Ecuador, whom we call the settlers. But how many white people live well? So many live in poverty, and a few live in splendor.
We Shwari in our organization have noted this. We wish to solve, or even more, we wish to prevent these socio-economic problems that the settlers, the whites, have among themselves. And so in our villages, we do not wish that any Shwara ever feel that he owns a piece of the earth or that he can sell it when someone offers him money. Because in this way, the land in reality goes from hand to hand until it makes its last stop with the rich man and what happens. The more land that the rich man has, the more people he has dependent upon him. And these laborers can never prepare a life or a future for their children, because the work that they do on another man's property stays with the owner of the land, and the worker is left with nothing. And for his children, it will be the same. The Federation knows that in Latin America, many indigenous groups have disappeared and are disappearing even now. In a situation so grave for all the Indian groups in Latin America, perhaps the Federation can be an example that only by organizing themselves can these groups survive. Otherwise, they too will disappear. The white man seems to change his attitude only when we sell him our lands, when we become his sharecroppers or his workers, then yes, his idea would change. Then there would not be a problem anymore. The white man considers us in this way as being unfit and uncivilized. We believe that he is very mistaken. We wish to work, to be a beneficial force for all mankind. This is what we want. To work alongside of all men without distinction between social classes or colors or races. This is the politics of the Shwara, because we know that we are all men, and as men, we are equal. But for the moment, it is hard for us to work with the others. We cannot do it. Although we Shwara consider everyone as equals, in reality, they do not accept us. Not one white, not even the poorest of the poor will accept us. Always they have called us hivaros, called us ignorant, called us savages. They say that we must give way to the white man. Thus, in this situation, we have to look to the strength of our own organization, the Federation. We must do all we can so that one day the white man will recognize our worth. Then and only then will we be able to collaborate with all men. If the white man thinks badly of us, so be it. Perhaps after many years, some of them will understand something of what we have thought and why we have labored, although today they do not understand.